angels, trillions of angels before the throne of God, praising and worshiping him. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So, that's one thing I'd like to be point in praising God. Praise is like creating a construct that enables God. That's the first one. Create is a construct that enables the presence of God. That enables the presence of God. It's a construct that we create for God to step into our dimension for his own dimension. So it is not something we just have to do, you know, just like normally. Psalm 22 verse 3, what does it say? Psalm 22 verse 3. This is one of the reasons why prophets desire heavenly melodies so that they can tune into the frequency of heaven. The prophets, in that times when prophets want to minister, when ministers want to, you know, people that want to that like to receive from heaven to prophesy, they say, bring me what? Bring me a service, bring me a string instrument. So by the time they tune that string instrument, what happened? There's a presence that's been released. There's a dimension that's been created that connects directly to heaven. And by that, the spirit of the prophets is begin to what? Begin to speak. Are we together? Psalm 22, verse 3, are we there? Can we please read it? But you are holy. Oh, you die. Inhabit the praise of Israel. Glory to Jesus. Psalm, 1 Samuel chapter 10, 5 to 7. 1 Samuel chapter 10, 5 to 7. When you do it rightly, the Spirit of God descends, but when done wrongly, the Spirit of demonic forces descends. That is why you see at times, it's not only we Christians, it's not only we pastors that need the instruments before we can what, before we can be inspired. All those music that you are listening to, they go to studio, they, they start pressing something, one or two things. <laughs> before they, they start getting something, and before they, they start, they, they start and they tell themselves with some smokes, and before I know it, they must start, <laughs> they must start descending upon them. And they began to get inspired. And they began to conclude from not see crazy songs. Shake your bum bum, shake your bum bum. And before I know they are playing on song, I used to do dancing with them. They don't know that this was demons that was that inspired it to them. That's why you have to be careful what this one listen you are listening to. And that's what I mean, you have this on your phone. You have to shake me out with them. Should we shake? Should I shake? <laughs> That's why you have to be careful because they are inspired by the morning forces, and that is why it is difficult for them to say to say something that pleases God. And then, when you look at your TV these days, you are like, What is happening in the country? What is happening in the world? It is all over the world. You see women almost going naked just because they want to sing, just because they want to sing, they go naked. Consider that this is beyond the normal, this is beyond the ordinary. They are being inspired by the money forces. In the same way, when we want to see, when we want to prophesy, when we want the Spirit of God to descend, we ask the psalmist to step on the keyboard. That's why times many, many prophets, many apostles, I'm very sure you listen to them these days. You see somebody playing the string, string instrument and doing, is tuning the environment so that the Spirit of God can descend. Hallelujah. So when we do it rightly, the Spirit of God is sent and inspired us to sing great songs. But when we do it wrongly, then we infiltrate the atmosphere with demons. And before you know it, they start finding strange expressions, strange prophecies. That's why we have to be careful of how we offer these sacrifices of praise before God. The second point, the ministers of songs have a greater job on the altar to do. Don't forget what I, the message is, the mysteries of grace. The ministers of songs, I know some of us are gospel ministers. I know some of us are gospel ministers. I want to minister in songs. And uh, even me, myself, I'm also I'm still, I'm still gospel minister. I'm still minister in gospel. Hallelujah. I'm still minister in songs. Apart from minister, I preach. I'm just from the father that I preach the gospel. I'm also a minister in songs. Yeah. That was what I wanted to do before, sir. Before God said, mm, go to the heart. Hallelujah. So it is better for you to follow God and to follow your own mind. I have songs like hundred songs in a book or written on, on song. You know this uh, this oh you this exercise that they used to you that used to be full of pack like this that they used to like almost eight. <laughs> you understand? I have it full of songs like three of it three parts of that eight was full of songs. 
and I was ready to work to, to blow. <laughs> Used to say, I follow my own mind. I'm like, become a little bit like that. <laughs> but God said, No, this is the part of the So, we have a greater job to do as ministers of God because when we come to this place to, work, to praise God, we are what? We are offering sacrifices to God. For instance, now we as ministers of the gospel and the ministers of gospel as ministers of in songs. Now, if you are a minister in gospel, you want to preach the gospel to people. But when you come here to minister in songs, you are, you are offering a sacrifice to, you, to God. So you have a greater job to do in, the, in that. For instance, now you want to cook for soul, you have to do it in a way that is acceptable. Hallelujah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You have to be it in a way that is accepted so that it can be received in you. So, 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 the ministers of song have a greater job on the water. Even the devil was a minister in song. People know that apart from being a common carrier, that's another story for another man. That's why God desired that his own verses that preach you should also have the words, the ability to what? To render sacrifices of praise. So that they can be able to do it in the right way. So you say, I am a minister and so on. So fine, but understand that there are some things you have to follow so that it can be acceptable before God. Not just you coming to, that's why I tend to say, ah, because I'm a minister and so on, you don't need to read the Bible, you don't need to pray, you don't need to fast. No. You have to do all those things so that God can, what, can strengthen you, can give you inspirations, great inspirations, can teach you how to offer that sacrifice of great strength. In fact, I would say, if you are a minister and so on, it is better for you to go to God in prayer and ask Him to show you how He wants you to praise Him before you start. Because many people out there, they have lost it. Many of them out there, they have lost it. They call themselves gospel ministers, ministers and sons. They have lost it. They call themselves ministers, but they have lost it. Because they are not doing it in the way God wanted them to do. They are not doing it according to what God wants them to do. For instance, that if you want to cook for someone, you definitely ask, what do you want? How do you want the thing to be done? For instance, that if you cook food for my mom now, you have to put just small salt, small tiny salt. If you put it off, if you put too much salt, <laughs> you, you won't eat it. But me, if you put that tiny salt, I'll just look at you like this. Because <laughs> I was not enjoying the food. So everybody has their own description of how they want to have that that, that, that offering of sacrifice is what you do. Render to them. May God help us in Jesus' name. May God help us in Jesus' name. Amen. God desires that we ministers of the gospel also have a basic offering so that we can be able to offer quality services and praise to you. And this has to be the disposition of basic ministers to even want God to acknowledge you more than others. If you want God to reference you when you come before him to praise him, you have to know and learn how to praise him in the right way. David was a man God loves because despite his many challenges, he tells for God, he seeks for God, he receives for God, he was able to speak, he was able to prophesy by his songs to the Psalms. Amen. And the Spirit of God is saying on him mightily. And even while he was, even while he, 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 even while he made some mistake, God still loves him. Hallelujah. That was most of our time. Another point, last, another point. As a music minister, seek for God in his word. Test for him. Look for his Holy Spirit. Don't say, I know how to do it. I don't want many of us to say, yeah, uh, John chapter 4, verse 24. Those that worship God, be what? Worship God in truth and the Spirit. But please, look for God. Ask him, how do you want me to worship you? At times they call you as a music minister. Come and minister to us. You, you call your, your band. You start rehearsing. You start rehearsing. After one hour, then you go for the session. That is wrong. That is wrong. That is wrong. That is wrong. You as a music minister, you should go to your words, to your closet, and ask God, God, what do you want me to sing? What do you want me to do? That's from there you'll be receiving inspiration. What God wants to do in that meeting, from there you'll be receiving the inspiration. How you have to what, what you have to sing, how you have to sing. It's from there you, you, you will realize that God wants to touch like 20 people with your song. God wants to hear like 40 people from just one single song that you have that you are not even thinking of singing. Are we together? So, so praise is like offering, praise is like offering a sacrifice. 
an offering unto God or something, you know, like something like food, you know, offerings. So if you want to do it, do it in the way he wants it, in the way he's expected. I may God help us in the name of Jesus. And also, if, I just want to say this, if you're a raising minister, endeavor to seek God. And then we just said, God, when I was in the revelation, the Lord showed me something about a sister. She's a, she's a music minister. And um, but that is, when I went to first to her or first to someone else, I don't know. But I know that this revelation is true. And I saw that lady, she was pregnant. And that's, in that revelation, she was pregnant. You know, and she came to me. You know, I was happy. I saw her. I embraced her. You know, and I asked her to stay. You know, in where I was, it was just a little some little water dropping <laughs> but she said that she doesn't want to stay because beside us was a well a well of water so she said she wants to go to that well so she went to that well to, water, to draw water and me I was just there with her in the little water that I have managing it and while she went to that well of water drawing the water she fell inside the water she fell inside the well and she began to she began to you know <laughs> she began to try to survive she was struggling inside the well. And I couldn't jump inside the well when I was asking her. So I went and began to ask people, please come and help, come and help, come and help. Somebody inside. I said, what is that revelation saying? There's some people that instead of them to stay to where God has destined them to be. Although we understand that the thing that is coming from there might be a little. But in the matter of time, it's what? It will increase, it will expand. But they went to go for something that they feel, you know, they are led by their, by their, by their desire, by their desire. That is what is happening in the music industry now. Many people want fame. They want celebrity status. They want the money. They want people to be called here and there. But they are, if they didn't do it in the way that God, in the way God has ordained them to do, they will fall into that way just like that lady did. You know, that she was pregnant, that she was pregnant with glory. She was pregnant with blessings. She was about to, 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 to burst into glory. That was that pre what that pregnancy meant. But because she couldn't stay in the little, little, little thing that is coming, she went for the big ones and then she fell inside the world. I pray that we shall not go in the wrong way in the name of Jesus. The Lord will help us in the name of Jesus Christ. To every music minister here, don't let the devil lead you away from God. The devil uses fame and money to lure many young ministers in songs away. Let God lead you. Let him direct your step. Many ministers of music have lost their stars to the devil. They've lost their stars to the devil because they run after the devil instead of running after God. Because they, are very, they, they, they run after vanity. Your gospel, your songs are to God. Let it be done in the way it ought to be done. May the Lord bless his word in our hearts in the name of Jesus Christ. May the Lord bless his word in our hearts in the name of Jesus Christ. Can we just pray this prayer? Say, Father, lead me in the right way to serve you. Lead me in the right way to praise you. In the name of Jesus. Say, so, oh Lord my God, Father, lead me in the right way to serve you. Lead me in the right way to praise you. And I may do it right. Can we turn to prayer right now? Father, lead me in the right way to serve and to praise you. In the name of Jesus Christ. Lead me in the right way to praise you. In the right way to stand before you. And offer sacrifices of praise unto you. In the name of Jesus. Lord, we pray, God, for the grace to do it the right way. The right way to serve you, the right way to praise you, the right, right way to lift up our voices in praises in songs unto you, O oh God. In Jesus' most wonderful name we are praying. Say, O oh Lord my God, my sacrifice of praise shall not be in vain. In the name of Jesus, can you turn it to prayer right now? In a portion, my sacrifices of praise shall not be in vain. My sacrifice of praise unto you, O oh God, it shall not be in vain. It shall not be in vain. It shall not be in vain. Shall not be in vanity in the name of Jesus. My sacrifices of grace shall not be in vain in the name of Jesus Christ. My sacrifices of grace shall not be in vain in the name of Jesus.
Shall I be in the name of Jesus? Shall I be in the name of Jesus? Shall I be in the name of Jesus? In Jesus' name we are praying. Say, oh Lord my God, every path that I've taken that shall not obey for me. Father, lead me back to you. In the name of Jesus. Oh Lord my God, lead me back to you. From every path that I've taken that is not of you, oh God. Father, lead me back to you. In the name of Jesus. Oh Lord my God, lead me back to you. 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 In the name of Jesus. Father, oh Lord my God, every path that I have taken that is not of you, O oh Lord, that you have not obtained for me, O oh Lord. The Bible says there is a way that is not good unto man, but the end therefore is destruction. O oh Lord my God, every path that I have taken, that you have not obtained for me, Father, bring me back to you. Bring me back. Lead me back to you. Basha, the Koshiri, man, the hunted. Rani Koshiri, the Namon, Sivin, the Irasit. Nettena, the Nadasit. Nettena, the Kabasha. Ilaso, the Nadasit. Gradishka, Gradishka, Madikesh, Tenkina Nose, Father, lead me back to you from every past that I've taken that you have not obtained for me in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we are praying. In Jesus' name we are praying. Say, henceforth, O Lord my God, let my presence ascend as a sweet fragrance before you, O Lord. In the name of Jesus, let my presence ascend as a sweet fragrance before you, O Lord. Can we turn it to prayer right now? Man, they shall touch us. He like goodness and tears. Red, you know, good that he turned. That he dashed the heart. Yes, for the whole world, let my precious ascend as a sweet incense. As a sweet incense unto you, O God. In the name of Jesus. Then, O Tim, in the name of God. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Blessed be the name of God. Blessed be the name of Jesus. You are God. From beginning to the end, there's no place for argument. You are God of yourself. You are God. You are. You are God. From beginning to the end, there's no place for argument. You are God of Yourself, we are going to do a new We are going to present Father in the name of Jesus Christ. Let new doors of blessings, new doors of pressure begin to open up to you in this new week that I have stepped into. In the name of Jesus, oh Lord, my God, let new doors of blessings, new doors of pressure, new doors of abundance begin to open up to me into this week in Narikosha in my city. New doors of connections. Marikosha in Kenista. New doors of connections. New doors of increase. New doors of abundance in the name of Jesus. Manashanga Kapana Bashata. Ekredis the Atana Kadasha. Nadia Sini Kadis. Drani Gosha Nidati. For which Jesus name we are praying. For which Jesus name we are praying. I pray for somebody here in the name of Jesus Christ. As we step into this new week, let new things begin to happen in your life. New blessings begin to happen in your life. In the name of Jesus Christ, I pray new connections for your business. New connections for your business. In the name of Jesus, new increase in wisdom, in knowledge, in understanding. In the name of Jesus, as you go out into this week, the Lord will go before you. It will strengthen you. It will strengthen your parts. In the name of Jesus, any weapon fashioned against you shall not prosper. Any tongue that rises against you, judgment is cut there. In the name of Jesus, you will go out and prosper. You will be successful. In the name of Jesus, everywhere you touch, you will find favor. The man with favor.